Hello and welcome to Wildlife Around Us. In this channel, I'm going to share with you my journey in the macro photography world, how I gathered all the knowledges from my seniors, from uh, YouTube tutorials and the magazines and implemented all those things in my work. I'll also be sharing with you my timeline, uh, the gears, the inexpensive gears what I, I have used uh, before um, switching to macro lens. I'll also be uh, sharing with you all the compositional uh, rules that we use in the macro photography or uh, photography in general uh, and how to uh, get some better results. So before going into all the complex things about macro photography, let us discuss some of the basic things that I will be using in all my upcoming videos. So first of all, we must know what a macro photography is, right? So technically, macro photography is that branch of photography uh, where the size of the object which is projected on a sensor is equal to or larger than the real size of the subject in the field. To understand macro photography in a better way, we must understand three basic terms that we use time and again in discussing a macro photography as a subject. These three terms are magnification ratio, depth of field or DOF and minimum focusing distance or the MFT. Let's see all these things one by one. So the first one is magnification ratio. Magnification ratio of a lens is expressed as the ratio between the size of the subject which is actually projected in a sensor to the actual size of the physical dimension of the subject in nature. To better understand this, let us uh, see an, a video. So let us take an example. Suppose you are shooting an insect of 12 mm physical dimension with a, a lens which has a magnification ratio of 1 is to 5. The image that is projected on your sensor on a 36 by 24 full frame sensor is actually 2.6 mm. Now you are taking photograph of the same subject with a, a lens which has a magnification ratio of 1 is to 3. The image that, we'll get, that you will get in the sensor will be of dimension 4 mm. Now you again change the uh, lens and uh, take a lens which has a magnification ratio of 1 is to 2 and shoot the same subject. The image that you will get in the sensor is of 6 mm. Now again you change the lens and uh, take a lens which has a magnification ratio of 1 is to 1. Now you can see the image that is projected in the sensor is actually 12 mm which is same as the actual dimension of the subject. This lens which gives us a 1 is to 1 uh, magnification ratio, we call it a true macro lens. Now further increasing the magnification ratio like 2 is to 1, 3 is to 1 or 4 is to 1, you will get a more magnified version of the subject in the sensor. So this is all about magnification ratio. I hope you have a clear idea about what magnification ratio is and how it works in different lenses. If you still have any problem, please write down in the comment section. I will definitely get back to you. Now the second point that I was talking about was depth of field or DOL. In a very simplistic manner, depth of field can be described as uh, the nearest and the farthest point in an image where it is acceptably in focus or acceptably sharp. Now depth of field in an image depends upon three main factors. The first one is the distance of the subject from your lens. The second one is the focal length of the lens you are using. And the third one is the aperture you are using. Now how all these three factors play a role in uh, varying or increasing and decreasing the depth of field. Uh, it uh, needs a detailed discussion and I will come into this discussion of the depth of field in a separate video. For now just keep in mind that depth of field is a very important factor in macro photography. The third point and a very important point in macro photography is MFD or minimum focusing distance. Now what minimum focusing distance is? The minimum distance required for a lens to properly focus a subject is termed as the minimum focusing distance. Now uh, let us take for example a lens which have a minimum focusing distance of uh, say 30 cm. You are shooting a subject uh, which is at a distance of say 20 centimeter from the camera but the 
minimum focusing distance of the lens is 30 cm so it will not be able to focus the subject so basically mft is that distance below which a lens will not be able to properly focus the subject now sometimes we get confused about this mft we think that uh, this uh, distance is measured from the front end of the lens but it is not so the minimum focusing distance is measured from the sensor of the camera which is marked by a file like symbol uh, on the camera body now mft or minimum focusing distance is different for different lenses it uh, depends on its inbuilt property so please check the mft or the minimum focusing distance of uh, the lens you are using before going to field otherwise as uh, you will be in a lot of trouble so these are the three basic things basic terms that uh, you must need to know uh, before uh, getting involved in macro photography or uh, before learning about macro photography because uh, all the uh, tutorials all the articles and uh, interviews that you will listen about macro photography they will be using these terms okay so this is all about today in my next video i will be showing you my timeline about how i progressed in the macro photography journey how i started with a simple point and shoot camera and slowly improved my gears as well as my photography skills i will also be discussing about uh, the inexpensive and cheap uh, gears in my subsequent videos and all the compositional rules see you next time bye for now